Hello guys, welcome to Inspiring Minds. Today we will discuss about the development of the nervous system. In the topics, till the end of the video, I will make sure the development process you should understand. So let us begin. Our CNS develops from the neural tube and peripheral nervous system from the neural crest cells. Let us look at how. This is a developing embryo and this is the dorsum of a developing embryo which is from neural plate ectoderm and now we will make certain pictures to understand how this neural plate ectoderm differentiate and forms the central nervous system. From the embryological process we have endoderm, mesoderm and ectoderm and in this part ectoderm we have to focus today. This is on the mesoderm, the notochord, which will stimulate and proliferate, gives the signals to the ectoderm to form first in the center, neural plate ectoderm. And on the periphery, forms surface ectoderm. And the junction between the both, there is presence of neural crest cells. And this part we will make it in the different pictures. Just imagine it is ectoderm, which was centrally neural plate ectoderm, junction neural crest cells, and periphery surface ectoderm, surface ectoderm, neural plate ectoderm, and neural crest cells. From this neural crest cells, we are going to get our peripheral nervous system. From the surface ectoderm, we are going to get skin derivatives. From this neural plate ectoderm, we will see now how. This neural plate ectoderm forms an imagination and leads to the formation of neural groove. Here are again these neural crest cells present. And this is again the surface ectoderm. In the embryological process of development, this uh, neural plate ectoderm forms the neural groove and at the last it forms the neural tube. This is our neural tube. These are our neural crest cells. Crest cells makes up the PNS. This is surface ectoderm surface ectoderm and this is our neural tube. In the neural tube we have this amniotic fluid, amniotic fluid and in the embryological process it forms the first CSF, first cerebrospinal fluid. Now let us take an, another section of this neural tube. This neural tube is going to form the brain and spinal cord. But before neural tube gets formed from the neural groove, here on day 20 of the embryological process, day 20 of the embryological process, cervical region has to get fused. to form has to get fused to occipital region pital region to form the first pair of somites from the first pair of somites now the neural tube has been formed on the neural tube we have two openings the anterior neuropore anterior neuropore and posterior neuropore posterior neuropore these both the openings has to get close on day 25, this neural anterior neuropore has to closed, has to be closed, and day 28, this posterior neuropore has to get closed to form the brain and spinal cord. But if it because of some defects, if it does not get closed, leads to neural tube defects. Non-closure of the anterior neuropore and encephaly. 
and non closure of the posterior neuropore rashes cases now we will understand again about the neural tube see friends after neural plate ectoderm we we got neural group then we got neural tube then we will take this section this neural tube uh, still starts to form the other structures of the brain in the form of the vesicle primary vesicle will form prosencephalon second primary vesicle form prosencephalon mesencephalon cephalon and rhombencephalon which is our forebrain midbrain and our hindbrain this neural tube leads to uh, start differentiating and forms these three primary vesicles and these three primary vesicles again differentiate to form the secondary vesicles which are five in number we will look at the diagram how it happens this this is the neural tube keep on differentiating to form the primary brain vesicle fore brain mid brain hind brain this primary vesicles keep on differentiating to form the telencephalon and diencephalon the part of prosencephalon that is fore brain this then mesencephalon and rhombencephalon mesencephalon and mesencephalon these are the parts various parts and whatever the structures we get while the developmental phase are from the fore brain we will get cerebrum cerebral hemisphere cortex white matter basal nuclei and diencephalon from the diencephalon part we get thalamus epithalamus all the thalamic structures we will see in the diencephalon from the mesencephalon it is brain stem mid brain we will get and mesencephalon pons and cerebellum pons forms before the cerebellum and mesencephalon medulla oblongata and spinal cord we will get in this uh, secondary vesicles there are also the formation start to formation of the ventricles which is later ventricles in the uh, telencephalon third ventricle in the diencephalon cerebral aqueduct cerebral aqueduct in the mesencephalon and in the rhombencephalon we will see the fourth ventricle and the central canal afterwards you can see it here to know about the csf and csf pathway and production just see the other video on the inspiring minds page on the youtube and for the whatsapp group and quiz you can also subscribe to our channel this is about brain development let's have a quick recap the cns our develops from the neural tube and tns from the neural crest cells the developing embryo it is a developing embryo the dorsum of the embryo it is a neural plate ectoderm how it formed from the endoderm mesoderm ectoderm mesoderm have the notochord the notochord keep on proliferating to form first neural plate ectoderm on the periphery form surface ectoderm and the junction between the two we have neural crest cells this uh, neural plate ectoderm starts to invaginate and form the neural groove which is neural groove this is again the surface ectoderm and on the uh, junction we have neural crest cells this neural groove uh, after uh, neural groove leads to the formation of the neural tube before forming the neural tube on the day 20 of the embryological development cervical region has to get fused with the occipital region leads to the formation of first pair of somites now this neural tube has amniotic fluid which forms the first csf in the baby but in the adult structures then uh, the cerebrospinal fluid is formed by choroid plexus neural tube if we take the section Uh, uh, this part is the brain brain going to be formed and this part is going to be formed spinal cord we have anterior neuropore and posterior neuropore to form both the part both the structures brain and spinal cord both these neuropores has to get clo closed anterior neuropore has to get closed on 25th day and posterior on 28th day then uh, posterior neuropore if it does not close leads to the open open neural tube defect which is rashes cases if anterior neuropore does not close leads to open neural tube defect which is anencephaly then this neural tube keep on differentiating to form the vesicles which are primary vesicles and primary vesicles once formed they keep on differentiating to form the secondary vesicles and secondary vesicles the adult derivative structures are these and must be learned by heart in uh, while forming a secondary vesicles there are on the other side the ventricles keep on forming lateral ventricles on the telencephalon part prosencephalon only diencephalon third ventricle mesencephalon cerebral aqueduct mitten saffron uh, and rhombencephalon the whole as structure we have our fourth ventricle and the central canal 
to know about the pathway of CSF and its production, you just look at into the video of CSF pathway and production on the Inspiring Minds YouTube channel. Okay guys, I hope this video is useful for you.